Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zuki Lovers, for who do not know and for who know who I am and I need to my channel. I just want to say hey, welcome back. It's so nice seeing you. It's been a while <laughs> since I've seen you. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, um, I'm going to do a church wish list. Now, you can see this is probably a vlogmas series. I'm trying to do vlogmas. We'll see how it goes. I didn't want to say it beforehand. I wanted to like post like five consecutive videos before I tell y'all, okay, well I'm doing vlogmas this year. Well, uh, but say what, this is day two. So I'll just see if I can call up day three, day 45 and so forth. So, as you can tell by today's title, we're going to do my church wish list. Now, this is for persons who are simply trying to get their relationship with God where it's supposed to be. You're trying to, you know, you know. Well, for me personally, at least, that's just um, this is just like a wish list that I had created for myself um, to strengthen my work with God and stuff and actually taking God serious because. I said to myself that I wanted to take my relationship with God more serious, um, seeing that, you know, I recently came out of an Egypt experience and stuff. Um, and right now, this is kind of like my wilderness experience. So I said, you know what, at this point in my life, I really need to prioritize and take God serious. This is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video. So, um, I have five things on my list and I will speak about each one in detail. So the first thing that I need to get or the first thing that is on my church wish list is a study Bible. Now, I have a normal Bible, um, the King James Version. I was so stuck on like using the King James Bible, the King James Version of the Bible for so long and now with education I'm learning or realizing that I need to get a version that I understand clearly. Um, so I think me having a study Bible will kind of allow me to really understand scripture a bit better because within the study Bibles and stuff like that, they actually have um, exits at the bottom or little takeaway notes at the bottom for you to kind of clearly understand what the passage is about or what that section of the Bible was kind of like speaking to, to kind of like elaborate a bit more if you don't really understand by reading the scripture itself. So the first thing I want to get is a study Bible. You know, I just want to have this whole this whole kit, if you know what I mean. So the second thing that's on my list is a hymnal. Now, if if you're not aware, I will let you know once more. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, so we use a hymnal typically to sing from in church, right? So I need to get myself a hymnal. Not that I don't have a hymnal, but I have like the hymnal that you use to play, like the piano and stuff, the instrumental hymnal. So I need to get the hymnal with the proper words. And I fancy like him now, you know. Um, even with the study Bible as well, I want to get like a pretty color, something with like pink and stuff in it. Like a pretty Bible. So when I not saying that, you know, I am so concerned with how it looks, but you know, you what you're trying to give all your best, and that's something that I'm trying to work on as well. So I wanna get a hymnal, um, a proper hymnal. So when I'm going to church, I'm not on my phone because I do have an iPad and normally I go to church with my iPad and I actually have the hymnal on my Bible on my iPad but I really think having the hard copy makes a big, the biggest difference. Now, I know everything is digitalized now but I need to, you know, I, f I would feel more connected with the hard copy and not just so much the digital version. And I know in some Adventist churches they do put the notes on the screen but i think for me for my sake as well remember the bible says study to show that stuff approved and stuff a good student walks with the equipment not because the teacher is going to have the slides up on the screen that means it wouldn't work with your notes you know what i mean now the third thing that it, that is on my list is a journal a church journal now sometimes i do carry like paper when i'm going to church and take notes on but sometimes it just it just gets flung all over the place now i think for me personally if I have a journal for church specifically, it will keep me up to mark so I can review when I come home and say, okay, this is what they spoke about. Um, this is what I spoke about in church. These are the scriptures that they gave. This was this is the message. This is the title of the message and so forth and so forth. Now, 
that would be very beneficial to me um, because I like to write things down especially I could recall when I was in class and sometimes the teacher would say something that is important I would like take notes of it even in church as well too I think even going to church you know it's just your students basically you're going to church to be taught right yes share your opinion and stuff but you're basically going to be taught you know um, I think taking notes is important so when they come back we make it refresh yourself because sometimes when they come from church and you call a friend you can call their friends and they can like you know what I went to church today and they ask you okay, what did what did the pastor preach on you can't remember now if you have your notes on the other hand it could be like well the pastor preacher was so so and so and this is the scripture he pulled out to this and this that's the other I want to get really serious with that so I need to get a church my one of the things on my church wish list is a church journal as well like a pretty small you know journal not something too big and extravagant but small nice journal to take some notes in so keep me abreast with what's going on in the service you know the fourth thing on my list is a bible pouch now i've never had a bible pouch before i've seen pictures with bible pouches i would like i'll put some images on the screen of some inspo ideas that i have of a bible pouch that i may consider getting but i want to get a bible pouch simply because i just find it will complete the look just imagine, I mean, I normally go to church with a purse, right? Um, I think it's important to go to church with a purse as a female. Um, so you could carry your stuff in the purse. Okay, we could do a whole modesty series, a whole um, must-haves for church. We'll do a whole series like that because this is kind of exciting for me. If you don't know, I'll let you know. I like to go to church. I like to dress up to go to church. I like to just, I like to be in church. That is one thing that I like. I like to be in church. Seeing how like curfew and stuff or the lockdown kind of like happened. Um, and we only have like an hour and a half now in church. It's really sad for me because I can recall we used to be in church like whole day before COVID hit and I miss that, you know, having potluck in church. Then from um, potluck, you spend a little time with speaking to your friends and stuff and then you'll transition into EY. I really miss that. We don't have that at our disposal right now, but that's totally fine. We're working with what the government has given us so far, which is the hour and a half and gradually it may increase if they see fit. No. As I said before, the fourth thing on my list is a Bible pouch. I need to get a Bible pouch. I need to get a Bible pouch. I really need to get a Bible pouch to put all these things in when I'm going to church. No, I think I would have my purse on my arm and my Bible pouch in another hand if you know if we do it like that but i'm having a bible pouch it shows that you are very organized everything is in the you know just like you go to school you have a book bag and you put your books in your book bag you know just come in with the book bag with the books in your hand you know organization as well and plus i'm thinking of it like this right me trying to grow my relationship and go down strengthen my faith and stuff i really need to put in the effort and actually put things in place the same way if i'm going to an event and i want to look good for the event i would go and buy clothes right to look proper in the event for the event same thing with church if i want to strengthen my relationship with god i have to put in the work to do it you know he not just going to i just get up one day and know everything about god no after after put in the work you know same thing with a romantic relationship you're not just going to know everything about your partner and you snap of a finger if your parents say lord allow me to know everything about this person don't work like that you need to put in the work right um the last thing on my list, the fifth thing on my list is a special pen. Now, I believe personally, if I have like journals and stuff, I have special pens dedicated to the journals that I have. So I need to get a special church pen or a special pen for the church journal as well. Um, you know, organization, being organized and stuff and actually putting in, you're trying to give God your best. One other thing though that I enjoyed, I think I'll make this into another video and I won't tell you all this here. The video would most likely be entitled Things I Enjoy or Like About Sabbath. Seeing that I'm a Sabbath Day Adventist, I'm not saying my channel is going to only be on faith, faith based stuff, but this is a part of my channel. If you look in my, at my banner, you would see the four categories that I would cover, most likely I'm going to be cover, covering on this channel. And one of the things that is very meaningful to me is my faith and i am i want to share that with you all as well um for the persons who are not christian and don't want to hear you don't have to look at the video but i really believe that i need to give god his due and i need to be obedient as well as a servant of him so those are the five things that i really think that i want or oh, that those are the five things that are on my church wish list i really hope you all enjoyed tell me down below in the comment section even a christian um what are some things that you probably have on your church wish list 
um, that you probably have on your list to strengthen your relationship with God and to draw closer to Him, etc. etc. Now, without further ado, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for taking time out of your busy, busy schedule to look at this video. It really means a lot to me. Um, I do pray and hope that you enjoyed the rest of your day. Um, I do hope that this video was enjoyable to you in some way. Getting to know a little bit about me. I hope that was a little bit fun for you as well. Without further ado, bye, peace squad. Stay blessed. I keep us out. Yes, again. Peace.